An excellent fantasy series can work as the ideal getaway, expanding your perspective and enabling you to become absorbed in an unfamiliar, magical world, because oftentimes we imagine ourselves defeating some creatures of evil, using magic, and discovering some crazy mysteries. Therefore, to fill that void, we've selected the 10 best series that engage in epic fantasy adventures that go beyond the limitations of our imaginations. These are some of the best and lesser known series that you should add to your watchlist. Now let's start the video. Number 10. The Outpost. It is a fantasy adventure series created by Jason Fuller and Kynan Griffin. Just so you know, the series was cancelled after four seasons, however, four seasons is plenty and has a solid, satisfying tale that you might enjoy. The show is about Talon, the sole survivor of the Black Bloods race, a group of people that were ruthlessly attacked. Years after a band of cruel warriors massacred her whole society, Talon makes the decision to visit a chaotic stronghold on the outside of society in quest of the people who killed her loved ones. But things change when Talon discovers she has a mysterious magical talent while traveling to the outpost, and now she has to acquire control of her new powers for the sake of protecting herself and humanity from a ruthless religious leader. The plot really draws at the emotions, and it begins off genuinely grim and heartbreaking, but then switches into a more subtle, chilling, and gloomy tone. It has a solid plot, diverse characters with backstories, and just the right amount of romance and action, all complemented by thrilling twists and surprises that never fail to leave viewers seeking more. The biggest problem is decent CGI, which significantly lowers the show's overall caliber. Number 9. Merlin. It is a medieval fantasy action drama that examines the story of Arthur, the king, and his magician, Merlin, highlighting the two characters' struggles to grasp their destinies during the early years of their lives. I have no idea why this show isn't mentioned more frequently when discussing fantasy and magic, it's one of the best in the genre and deserves greater recognition. Yes, it's old and doesn't have jaw-dropping CGI like current epics, but that doesn't mean it should be excluded. The show follows the story of young magician Merlin, who is transported to the realm of Camelot since he possesses a special ability of magic. Soon after, he becomes Prince Arthur's servant, safeguarding his life, and finds out that the power he was given was intended to keep Arthur safe. However, Merlin is required to hide his abilities because Arthur's dad, King Uther Pendragon, prohibited magic in the kingdom, and anyone found using it will be executed. After several adventures, Merlin and Arthur grow to be close associates and allies, with Merlin trying to persuade Arthur to become the ruler that he was meant to be. Overall, it is a fun fantasy story for both mythology fans and beginners looking for a nice entertaining fantasy show, Merlin is a great choice. Number 8. The Strain. It is a fantasy horror series created by Guillermo del Toro and Chuck Hogan. If you are familiar with Guillermo del Toro's work, you will know that he is exceptional at combining fantasy and horror stories into unimaginable epics. The story revolves around Dr. Ephraim Goodweather, the director of the CDC's Canary Study in New York, who receives a request to look into a plane's arrival where everybody who was aboard has died. In the aftermath, his squad detects an outbreak of a virus that mimics a centuries-old kind of vampirism. Before they can act, the virus begins to circulate, and Goodweather leads his crew and some locals in a battle to preserve humankind. The strain follows the rise of vampires as a result of a strange infection breakout that results in dreadful consequences. But in this instance, the plot is a brilliantly crafted spin on contemporary vampire folklore that highlights Del Toro's notably imaginative take on horror and fantasy themes. Although there are some absurd illustration imperfections, the tale is still appealing, thrilling, and unique overall. Number 7. His Dark Materials. It is a fantasy mystery series based on the trilogy of novels of the same name by Philip Pullman. The series started and finished its run with three marvelous seasons, all of which you should definitely see. The show takes place in a multi-world reality, with events shifting between them. The story opens in an alternate reality, where human beings have companions, who are animals known as demons that represent their souls. The main plot centers on a young girl, Lyra, who is a foster kid and lives with the researchers in a society where the Magisterium, a governmental and religious institution, rules. Later, in her hunt for a disappeared friend, Lyra discovers a string of abductions and a connection to a mystical material called dust, which sends her on a wild adventure that inevitably takes her to other realms. What is dust, its importance, how did Lyra travel to another realm, and what exactly are demons, these three absurd things should be enough to spark your interest in this story. 
There is actually a lot more, but it is difficult to discuss it without giving anything away. What makes the show the best is how it progresses from a land of witches to massive battles and, finally, a full-scale multi-universe plot. Number 6. The Wheel of Time. It is a high fantasy action adventure series based on the book series of the same name by Robert Jordan and Brandon Sanderson. Fans of the fantasy series in general and of the books have different opinions on this show, some thought it was excellent, while others didn't. The plot centers around an ancient prediction involving the resurrection of the dragon, a powerful person, predicted to either safeguard the world from an ancient evil or destroy it all over again. The main character of the narrative is Moiraine, an influential group leader who has the talent to harness the One Force. She, along with her group member, Lan, looks into an assault on their surrounding area and searches for a band of five people from the remote Two Rivers province of Ander, assuming that one of these individuals is the reincarnated dragon, a tremendously dark energy channeler who destroyed the known universe. The first season provides a lot to establish the upcoming narrative and serves as a separate adventure, which by the season's conclusion, it reveals significant mysteries and objectives. It might not appeal to everyone, but it is worth watching for its convincing storytelling and excellent visuals. Number 5. Ragnarok. It is a fantasy thriller series created by Adam Price. The show presents modern versions of some of the greatest Norse gods, such as Thor and Loki, as well as their rivalries with the giants. The story takes place in the Norwegian city of Edda, which is affected by factory emissions and environmental damage brought on by companies run by the community's Jutal estate. In this case, the Jutals are in fact four giants who survived the famous Ragnarok fight between gods and giants. They pretend to be family members and live between people, remaining undetected while preying on their vulnerabilities. But to their astonishment, Magna, a young man who discovers that he is the incarnation of Thor, the Norse god of thunder, challenges them. He starts his battle against the Jutals after learning about their atrocities and their objective. The good news is that the third and final season, which I am extremely excited about, is coming in August. The locations are simple, yet highly appealing due to the intensely gripping narrative that captures our attention from the very first scene. Do just one thing, watch the first episode, and you'll soon be binge-watching the two seasons. Number 4. Castlevania. It is a dark fantasy action series created by Warren Ellis. Believe it or not, once you begin to enjoy animated fantasy shows, you will forget about the live-action ones. The main story is centered around a vampire, Vlad Dracula, whose human wife has been killed at an altar after being wrongly convicted of practicing magic. After this terrible incident, he vows revenge on all mankind and summons a legion of creatures to eliminate everyone in the world who is to blame for her death. To exact his wrath, a force of monsters runs the entire nation, leading its citizens to continue living in terror and suspicion. Now to fight against this, the exiled demon slayer Trevor Belmont picks up weapons and fights Dracula's army, guided by the witch, Sifa Belnades and Dracula's offspring Alucard, who strives to rescue humans from his father. The series is based on the well-known video game franchise and does complete honor to the source material. The show had a fantastic fantasy tale with flawless action and mind-blowing creatures and has finished its spectacular story with a four-season run. Number 3. Siren. It is a fantasy drama series created by Eric Wald and Dean White. The story takes place in an oceanfront community that is well known for having long-running tales about mermaids and mermen inhabiting it. However, this quiet town is disturbed when a mermaid named Rin assumes human form and begins causing mayhem in the community in a quest to locate her elder sister, who was abducted by the town's armed forces. However, what appears to be an ordinary search and rescue operation suddenly breaks objectives, which is the unintended effect of escalating the war between man and the underwater world as these hungry creatures resurface to reclaim their former domain of the sea. With a completely fresh and unique perspective on mermaids, the series does a terrific job of setting itself apart from the countless other shows about mythical creatures. But if you manage to get past some of the logical flaws, the world building and action throughout the series are usually superb, and there are a few brilliantly executed twists in the story that enhance the elevated stakes of the drama. Number 2. Moon Knight. It is a superhero fantasy series created by Jeremy Slater. The series concentrates on Stephen Grant, a sympathetic worker at a museum, who experiences unexplained blackouts, during which he loses all memory of his actions. Stephen eventually discovers that he has a condition, called multiple personality disorder, and that he shares his body with assassin, Mark Spector. 
However, as a group of Mark enemies attack them, they are compelled to work together to achieve each other's aims in order to survive, as well as to contribute to a risky puzzle concerning the powerful gods of Egypt. To put it simply, Mark is the moon god Khonshu's avatar and must obey him in order to combat an Egyptian god who has been imprisoned for a long time and her supporters who seek to release her and impose new unlawful laws on the planet. The show examines the legend of the Egyptian gods with a modern spin, creating a thrilling fantasy adventure with some incredible action. Although the action could have been much better, all things considered, it works. Number 1. American Gods. It is a fantasy drama series based on Neil Gaiman's novel of the same name. The drama centers on the story of a prisoner, Shadow Moon, who learns that his wife has died in a vehicle crash and that he will be freed ahead of time to go to her burial. But a number of circumstances prevent him from returning home, and it's during this period that he encounters the enigmatic Mr. Wednesday, who keeps offering Shadow an opportunity to work, but until Wednesday reveals some details, Shadow refuses, but eventually takes up the offer to look after Wednesday. Although Shadow had no idea what he was getting into, he soon learned about the secret realms where magic actually exists and about the old gods who feared losing their influence in the hands of a group of new gods headed by technology and media. He is pulled into a massive celestial war as Mr. Wednesday tries to rally the ancient gods to preserve their eternal existence and regain the power they were deprived of, but that is only the tip of the iceberg. There are a lot of other themes as well, many of which are unimaginable to conceptualize, but I suppose that is what fantasy is all about. American Gods offers something different from other genre works, which makes its plot a must-see. That's it for today, thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe our channel to see more videos related to movies and series suggestions.